morning, lovely people. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. I am sitting here in the kitchen drinking some tea. And I thought I would sit down and just kind of give you an um, overview of what we're doing today. Please excuse my morning face. I know it's not the prettiest. So we have a train leaving at 1230 and it is going from Brighton to Eastbourne and I have never been there. Um, but I've heard it's really nice to be honest. I mean, I've heard the cliffs are really pretty. I've never been there so I don't like know what there is to do there but I thought it'd be nice to go and explore. And then we are going to explore even like we're gonna explore brighton on today tomorrow wednesday so that's the plan and i think i got bit in my sleep last night i have like a really itchy bump on my knee oh i don't know if you can see it look at that what the heck it looks like a mosquito bite, but it doesn't. I hope it's not like a spider bite or something because I'm terrified of spiders. Um, also, while I'm sitting here and while John is in the shower, I thought I would give you a little bit of background info of what I said in a couple of videos back saying that I'm from here. Like, England being. And I am... So I thought I would tell you the little story of where I'm from. So basically, I am from a little place in England called Suffolk. I was born in Norfolk, but we were, we lived in Suffolk. Um, which, if you're looking at a map of Britain, it's like on the eastern side, it's like a big bump. Not the little bump at the bottom, but the big one. Um, and I grew up there um, with my two older half brothers um they were much they are much older so the oldest moved to like lived in london which is who i'm staying with now or while i'm in london that's who i'm staying with um my younger older brother um was in university when i was born and he met a american girl because she was doing like a a year in england Mm, sorry. It's okay. So yeah, and she was doing like a year in England at my brother's university and that's how they met. And then they ended up doing like they dated, they did long distance and they figured out what well, they wanted to work, they didn't have to get married, you know. So they got married when I was three and then my brother moved with back with her to where she lived in America. And fast forward a couple years they have two kids. Do you want me to cut that out? No, okay. Okay. Um, fast forward a couple of years, they have two kids, and my mom is really missing her grandkids, as you can imagine, because my oldest brother um, did not have any kids at that point. Um, so they have two kids. My mom is really missing her grandkids. So, <clears throat> and I think she just been we had. I mean, where we lived, it was so small, such a small town, you know. It was good to get out. Um, and so she decided she wanted to move to America. At this point, I was probably about 11, maybe just turned 11-ish, when she decided she wanted to start looking for houses in America. It was in 2010, I was 12, when we moved to um, the United States. And that's basically the overview of why I have an American accent and why I say I'm from the UK. It's kind of hard, it's a hard thing to talk about for me because my entire family say that I um, lost my British accent and I kind of like started speaking with an American one within one week which I don't remember at all I don't remember how I got it or when but apparently I did Actually, the whole reason why I got an American accent was when I was in middle school in the in the United States 
everyone would always stare at me. Everyone would ask me to say things. I was, I was different. I dressed differently. I spoke differently. But yeah, and I really didn't like being that person, like being that, being that outsider. I didn't like being different. It made me feel weird. It made me feel, which isn't bad, but it made me feel like everyone was staring at me. I felt like I was in a, a zoo and it was, it was horrible. And so I think that's why I kind of adopted the American accent was just to kind of like blend in to fit in more so yeah I felt really out of place and so I adopted that American accent to blend in better with everyone else so people would stop staring at me and I'm not proud of it I kind of wish I just you know sucked it up and kind of embraced my British accent and kind of liked it more I never really liked my accent especially when we moved um, which is sad because it's hard. It's hard to be that person who's so much more different than everybody else. And I'm not good at being different. Like when I'm here, I love having my British accent. I love speaking with it. I love being here. When I'm in the States, I almost like I hate having that accent. I, I don't like being different and I and it's hard and I I don't want to be like a fake person you know like I don't want to be fake because I'm not fake I'm not fake at all like I am the most honest person you will meet but anyway I already gave you the overview of what we're doing today John is taking a shower right now and he called me up and it sounded like something was wrong he was like, you need to come upstairs now. And I get in the bathroom, and he's too tall for the shower. And I feel so bad, but it's hilarious. Like, his head goes above, like, right on the shower head. Or, like, just slightly above. So he has to, like, take it off and, like, do it manually. Which I think is hilarious. I also want to point out how much I love Brighton. Like, this town is so cool. And it's so... Just... Awesome, honestly. I've been here about, I think like two times before, but I never stayed, we just like came down. I came down with my brother. That sounds so lame, but whatever. All right, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna finish my tea. I'm gonna take a shower. See you guys in a bit. Just do it. <laughs> that looks so good though. <laughs> food, food. Mm. Where are we at? We're in um, Eastbourne. Eastbourne, that's the yeah. name. Eastbourne, it's like a seafront town. <clears throat> kind of looks like Brighton, to be honest. A little bit. And it's quite windy, so I hope you can hear what I'm saying. But um, we uh, we went to lunch. And, what, what was uh, it called again? Qualacy? Qualacy, ha, get it. And um, <coughs> we're the youngest people in there by about 40 years. I think everyone <laughs> in there was about 70 plus. <coughs> I don't know if we like missed a sign on the door that said like 60 plus only, but like very out of place. Oh well, food is good. What you have? You had a Qualacy burger? Yes, the best and burger I've ever eaten in my entire life. He made it a half pound and then I had a pie and then we both had chips. Like fries. And oh my god. So good. What do you have to say? So good. I got a half pound burger with like a quarter pound of cheese, peppers, bacon, french fries, pickles, all that kind of stuff for less Tomato. than for less than I would have paid for a Big Mac meal at McDonald's. And it how was the was best it? thing I've ever eaten. He says he's had thousands of burgers in his life. And that was the best one he's ever had. By far. Because the Brits know how to do it right. And then I also ordered curry sauce, which I've never had before, but you can like dip your chips in it. And oh my god, it was so good. It reminded me of like a childhood memory. Like when I was in school as a child, they used to have, on some days they would have curry. It would be like curry day. And it tasted just like that. It was so cool. I liked it. And now we're just by the seafront. Just so walking go around. To go to the pier. It does kind of look like Brighton. If you think about it. 
It's such a nice day. There's like not a cloud in sight. Well, a little bit, but it's such a nice day. It's Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. What is that? Oh, that's you. <laughs> I didn't know that was you making noise. I thought it was like a bird. All I heard was <laughs> I was singing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's so pretty though. Look at the gold tops. Look, babe. What's up? The gold tops. They're so pretty. Come on. That was a good dance. Dance. I'm not good dance. I don't know. I don't think I got that. <laughs> it's so pretty out here. Oh, got that cheetah. This is so beautiful. Like I really hope this camera does this place justice. I don't know if it does. But it's so pretty. The water's like a really nice green color. Look at the lion. This place is so much more like chillax than America. Mm. Like in America, they'd have police officers walking up and down this thing. They would? Yeah. That's how it was when we went to Miami at that pier. They had guards and police. And... There was? I don't remember that. Really? Yeah. Because well, like the crime right here is like nothing. Everyone here is like 90, so... <laughs> they stole the last can of cranberry sauce. <laughs> That's like the worst report they get. <laughs> Let's sit in the deck chair. Deck chair. Sit here, my dear. Look at that view. Really nice and sunny. Why do you never tell me my hair looks like poop? Because I don't think it looks like poop. I like this. It's like out of the wind and it's like super hot. Excuse me. <laughs> the plants are so pretty. That looks so tropical. Like, where are we right now? Just beachy plants. Yeah. So nice. Eastbourne Bandstand. You get a tour in this thing. Twelve fifty a person. It's quite cute. If I got to drive it, it would be worth it. Yeah. It's pretty expensive though. Not to sneeze. Thank you. Thank you. Look at all the beach huts. They're so cute. Look at that. Oh, can't see us. Okay. Go. Go. Ah! <laughs> Look how big these rocks are. This is weird. It sounds so weird. Ah! I 
tripped. There's a pebble in my shoe. Ow! Get out! I need to find a flat rock. Ready? my shoes now. This rock is like chalk. That's so cool. I've fallen from this like really white cliff. It's beautiful. Peep the puppy. I don't know who that is. So pretty. It's not focusing on you. Please excuse my hair very humid. Well not even humid but it's just very windy. Yeah I'm basically on like I'm sitting on a, like a white rock. So I hope my butt doesn't get white after this. I just wanted to say this place is so pretty. <laughs> it's just so nice and so beautiful. Like I've never been here before and I've never seen like the white cliffs in person before and it's so nice because it's such a nice day out so sunny and it's a little bit windy but it's bearable that's what I was sitting on if you can see that it's so nice what is my hair doing let's just take a minute and try and sort this out oh seagull Stop to get ice cream, ice lollies. I got a Solero. I got a Twister. Mm. Look what we found! Eastbourne Floral Town. Oh, in memory of Ken McCallum. <sighs> so many steps. Go down there. Huh? I don't want to go down there. I was looking at it. Oh. Gosh. It smells so nice. What? Dead birdie. Where? On the ground. That's what that smell is. Wait, that's not a bird. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. It's poop. Oh. <laughs> that's the fattish poop I've ever seen in my entire life. I was wondering what that smell was. Oh my god. Babe. Did someone have an elephant up I there? told you to stop pooping in public. I'm sorry. I really <laughs> Jesus. Know. That's a dead bird. That's what it freaking looks like. It's so big. Possibly be from the world's largest dog. <laughs> like I doubt they have horses come up here. Oh, it smells bad. Look how cute these little stairs are. Little cave.
Nice little dugout. Hmm. Huh. Oh, look at that guy. Oh, yeah. He's out there. What's up, girl? What's up? It's coming from this man on a keyboard. Our train. You have to get behind the yellow line there, darling. Okay. was but we basically we had a train ticket for 6 30 back to Brighton from Eastbourne but we it was like 5 45 and we had nothing left to do we'd seen the the pier the beachfront all the stores on the main road so like well let's just see if there's a quicker um bus or train back to Brighton and there was so we ended up catching that we got back to Brighton and we walked to Sainsbury's and we got some stuff for dinner. And then we walked back. I'll show you guys what we're gonna have. Got some good old penne. And we're both gonna have a creamy white wine cooking sauce. And then I am having in mine some honey roast Scottish salmon flakes. And John is having, I think, some sort of chicken. Let me see, here's the label. British chicken breast wrapped in bacon with a hunter style barbecue sauce. But he's not gonna have the barbecue sauce. Then we're also both having mini bre mini British jacket potatoes with roasted garlic butter in the middle. Those look good and I'm excited for those. Um, and then I got myself a little sneaky dessert because I'm awesome. Where is it? Oh. Sorry, what? You're what? I got myself a sneaky dessert, because I'm awesome. What? Oh, okay. I got two creme brulees, one for tonight and one for tomorrow night. Tomorrow we're having fish and chips. Creme cookies. Uh, hanging up. And then I also got some Echo Fall sparkling fruit fusion with summer berries. Wine, rosé. Thought I'd try that one out. Because it's illegal here, so why not, you know? Um, I'm just gonna give you a little fridge tour because I'm awesome. <laughs> I also have some co-op tropical fruit juice. John's collection of beers here. That's not interesting. I got some strawberry jams for some crumpets that I have. Not interesting. And um, these aren't cold yet. need to be close the fridge, dude. I'm giving a little fridge tour. How is my How are my beers supposed to get cold? And you just well, because that's where they were yesterday, and it was fine. It's because I bought them cold. Well, whatever. And then I also got a Hartley's orange flavored jelly. I got ambrosia custard. <laughs> I got some vanilla yogurt. That's not interesting. Parmesan. I only got this today. Some passion fruit that I'm gonna eat. And then I have some Muller rice strawberry um, rice puddings. Then we have like lettuce and fruit. And I haven't had any crumpets yet. I'm really excited to try these. Well, I've had them before, obviously, but. 
And now, as a little pre-dinner snack, I'm eating some Walker's baked cheese and onion crisps with some, what is this? Caramelized onion hummus. So, mm. uh, when you write the review about this place, make sure you include the fact that if you're above 62, you can't stand in the shower. Um, and if it's a hot, like, sunny day, make sure you leave the window open upstairs. Mm. Only critiques. <laughs> Are you gonna watch the last episode of Disney It's right after that? Can we watch it while we're eating dinner? What? Oh, fine. Guys, look at our little dinner placement. Isn't it the cutest thing ever? I got my little glass of wine. He's got his glass for his cider. Got our pasta sauce here. Butter and potatoes here. Pasta. The bacon and chicken. And the parmesan, salt and pepper. I'm feeling it. And we got Netflix. I'm really excited for this. Oh wait, where's my salmon? Can't, can't forget about that. Forget about your own semen. I don't know. Why is it beeping at me? What? I don't know. I need to turn that off. That's exactly why I was beeping at you. Awesome. Ooh. Oh yeah, clink the glasses. It's called cheers, mate. Mm. Let's do this.